This is the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Hello. So, oh, Sam. Oh, Sam. Sam. So Sam. while we're on holidays, we're letting our other team members pick mm. the best things to put in our podcast. And today it's Sam's turn. Now, Sam is our digital content producer, but also he just he puts so much so much of himself in this show. He's the one that named all the people from Piara Waters P-Warts. The P-Warts. <laughs> the P-Warts. They loved it. The P-Warts. Yeah, I grew up with P-Warts. Yeah, mm. yeah. So I'm sure, I'm sure you've currently got <laughs> some now. Uh, so you've chosen some special things? Yeah, just my favourite bits from uh, the year gone by. So there wasn't much. I was going to say, what, <laughs> did, what did you feel yeah, the rest of it? We wild <laughs> troll through it, eh? <laughs> Okay, well, we can't wait to hear them. <laughs> oh, sorry. Everybody. He doesn't even want to elaborate. I don't have my list. No, 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 We don't want your list. You had your chance. Fine, no worries. They are from our show, aren't they? Yes, okay, yes, great. Okay. yes. But right. Sam chose these, everybody. Maths. Well, it's in full swing. Yes, we've seen it all so far. Hey, Nat, we're we, over the halfway mark. Yeah, we're I getting know. to the end. Yeah, so. we are lucky enough to be joined right now by husband of the year, uh, Harrison. Hi, Harrison. Really? <laughs> good morning. Good morning. I don't know if I'd be getting that title, but yes, uh, yeah, good morning. What do you How mean are you? you don't know? I mean, every time we watch the show, they're saying you're a narcissist, you're gaslighting people. You're, surely that's part of the title. Ah, look, uh, it's so easy to make a gaslighter. It's so easy. It's the oldest trick in the book. Yeah. Hey, Harrison, do you think maybe you'll be able to get a sponsorship deal with Clean Heat or something afterwards? Mm. Afterwards, because of the amount of yeah. times that gaslight's been used in your name? Uh, it gets used every year. Yeah. It gets used every year. Yeah. Every year someone gets accused of it. It's, like I said, it's the oldest trick in the book. It's something new. Um, but, yeah, it's, uh, it's it's just something that I've got to sort of deal with now and, and talk about and, and explain my side of things, I suppose, because there's a lot of stuff that happens on the show that people aren't aware of. Okay, of can you explain to us why you're on the show? Now, most of the other people we've spoken to, and over the journey we've been able to do that for a long time, and you just go, right, you're yep. in it for Instagram fame, or you want to be on TV, and a lot of people are coming off like a knob, and to be honest, that's been you for most of this season so far. Can you defend that and explain why you got on the show in the first place? Oh, I can't defend it, mate. I'm a bit of a knob. <laughs> um, but, uh, no, I would say, look, I would say, look, uh, I went on the show because I was looking to get into a relationship. I wanted to, I wanted to test myself. And, um, you know, I was pretty, I was pretty open about the fact that, look, at least if that didn't work out, you know, being, uh, being famous also has its advantages. So, I'm just going to, you know, come out and say that that's probably the two main motivations for most people going on the show. I would say is that they know that, it, you know, they're going to they're either going to meet the person of their dreams or they're, um, you know, going to get that blue tick. Can, yeah, can I just say, yeah, Harrison? Can I just say, okay. Harrison? You are, I think, the first person out of the all the series of Married at First Sight that we have covered that has actually admitted that. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. Now, Harrison, can mm-hmm. I? That's forbidden I, admission. <laughs> yeah, can I just go back to what you alluded to before? And we get that it's edited. We get that we don't see everything that goes on, uh, but we, you are being judged by what we see, and you obviously are watching it. So when you're watching what we see, so you're watching your behaviour. Do you understand why people are calling you a gaslighter? Do you? Do you? Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I watch it and I can see it perfectly clearly why people would say that. Yeah. <laughs> so do you think that you got the, the, the gaslighter way, the way, edit or do you oh, think your behaviour fits that profile? 100%. No, no, I've never gaslit Bronte. And you can, Bronte admits it herself. She says I, I, he's never manipulated me, he's never gaslit me. Yeah, but you gaslit her to believe so, that. I guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the nature yeah. of it. I'm just that good, I'm just that good at manipulating and gaslighting. I can get people to well, yeah. say things. Yeah. yeah, but but I mean, nah, it, it nah. is. But but sometimes you know what I mean. It, I mean, there might be well, a really why great. Why don't you guys give me an example where you feel like I've gaslit Bronte, and we can talk about it? Well, I mean, I'm not really going to get into examples. I'm going to talk about what's happened with Bronte as well because I feel like okay, this is my explain it. So you know when you put something in the fridge and you leave it uncovered, and then the other things in the fridge start taking on that smell. Mm. <laughs> that's what I feel like's happened. That's what I feel like's happened yeah. with with you and Bronte. I feel like Bronte's now yeah. picked up your traits, and she doesn't even know she's doing because. Bronte's now a person or that I feel I like is doing Bronte's it. Straight. Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. no, I don't know. I think, I think you well, look at it this way. Look at it this way. Yeah. If 
if they only show my behaviour yes, and yes. specifically not other things, mm-hmm. do you really not other think that there's more? Like, have you left any room for the possibility that there is things going on that you haven't seen? That that's would have exactly what a gaslighter would say. No, no, well, that's true. We do know that it's completely well, no, edited. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not manipulating you to question reality. I'm just saying there's things you haven't seen. <laughs> I don't trust anything you're saying. He's getting me. <laughs> He's getting yeah. me. I'm writing leave. Uh, well, look, if, uh, I think... I I think if there's nothing I can say that you guys aren't going to attack with calling it gaslighting, then I, just, I don't think there's any point even having the discussion. Oh, no, we're not attacking you. It's actually pretty funny. No, I, I know. I'm just saying. I'm yeah. just saying. Like, it's not there's to the no point where move. anything that comes out of my mouth, people are going to go, oh, it's a gaslighting, it's manipulating, blah, blah. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, well, there's not even any point talking about it then. It's the power of the edit of the show, though, mm-hmm. Harrison, to be honest. It's what people are fed, and, you know, and, and, and we do. We only so, see one side and, of what's going why on. Why do you think they did that for you? Do you know what I mean? Like, because some people get the good oh, guy. Oh, that's Did you think answered. you were going to get okay. the, the good guy at it? Uh, <laughs> you always hope. Um, <laughs> look, again, again, it comes back to the fact that I, I genuinely thought there is so much going on here between me and Bronzy. I thought towards this part of the show, I thought there is absolutely no way they could keep up this villainous narrative for me. I was like... There's so much that's come out. All of the girl, all of the women have turned on Bronte. You can see it on the show. Oh, yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So you ask yourself, what are you not seeing on the show to make all of the women turn against Bronte? Regardless of the fact that they're saying what they're saying about our relationship, I mean, for women to turn on women, there has to be something really wrong with that woman's behaviour. Because women, the women on the show were much, much, much tighter than the guy. I so think sometimes, leave, Harrison... Just leave room for the possibility that the evidence is there. You're just not seeing yeah. all of it. Nathan, Nat and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.